Hey guys, Mr. Bowman here. Today's learning objective is in green and we are learning to draw parabolas and describe some of their features. So the first thing to note is we are shifting away from linear algebra, which was to do with straight lines. So the straight lines are gone. And what we're doing is we're focusing on the graphing of quadratics. So we've done expanding quadratics, we've done solving, factorizing, all of that. So we're now looking at what do quadratics actually look like on a graph? And as a bit of a spoiler, as I said, so we are shifting away from straight lines and we will be shifting to U-shaped curves. And we'll get into that in a bit more detail as well. So quadratics and parabolas are what we're going to be focusing on today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with our first equation y is equal to x squared and this is our default this is our basic parabola it's the parabola we make reference to with every other parabola to describe features so let's get into the habit so as always we've got an equation what i'm going to do is let's um let's put that in a table so we can more easily figure out the relationship so let's do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So I've picked those numbers because I do know what the shape looks a bit like in my head. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug x into that equation. So negative 2 squared, well, that becomes 4. Because negative 2 times negative 2 becomes positive 4. And then we've got negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 1, well, that becomes positive 1. 0 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. So what we've got there is we've got a table, and that table is actually a set of coordinates we can plot in our graph, and we'll be able to see what that shape actually looks like. So let's look at negative 2 first. So our x value is there. We're going to go all the way up to positive 4. So that would be our first point, and then we're going to go to negative 1, and then we're going to shift up to positive 1. The next one's at 0, 0, so that's at the origin, so that's nice and easy to identify. And then from x positive 1, we're going to go up to positive 1. And from y, sorry, x 2, we're going to go up to y 4. And we can kind of see that u shape there. And what we do here is we then just roughly connect. That was a terrible looking parabola. We roughly connect our points with a curve at the bottom. And we see a regular our parabola and another feature to note is that point zero zero down the bottom that is our vertex so we've drawn one parabola and we've done that by going from the equation to the table table to graph and what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this process for three other graphs just to show us some features of a parabola and that'll help us with our base point or our development of parabolas. So let's go to the orange pen. So equation number two, we're going to have y equals one quarter of x squared. And just like the previous table, or well, previous question, we are going to draw a table. Got those the wrong way around. So x there, and we then calculate corresponding y value. So let's do negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two again. Let's see what that comes out with. So it is a bit of a guess and check as to know what this looks like. But let's have a look. So the first one is we've got 1 half times negative 2 squared. And that's going to be, sorry, 1 quarter times 4. So that's going to become 1. We're then going to do the same thing. We've got 1 quarter times negative 1 squared. Well, that's going to be 1 quarter times 1. And that's 1 quarter. And anything times 0 is 0, so that's easy. And then we're going to have 1 quarter, and we're going to have 1 again. And just like our earlier graph, that gives us a set of coordinates to plot to see what this graph looks like. So let's get rid of all that working. Um, and now let's see what that graph looks like. So let's start off at negative 2. And from negative 2, we go up all the way to 1. And then from 1, we go up to a quarter. So that would be about there. So if you're not sure, please estimate. And then we've got zero, zero. And then we've got a quarter again, and then a one again. 
And then let's connect our dots. And I'm just going to draw an arrow on the edge end because that does carry on. And what we can see is that graph is a lot flatter. And the reason that's flatter, because every single point we are timesing it by a quarter, which means it's going to be a lot smaller than it would be if it was just x squared. So x squared times a quarter, it ends up being a lot flatter than a regular parabola. If, for example, that was 3x squared, well, everything is being timesed by 3. So, for example, if that was 1, that would actually be times 3 and be up at 3. So that means it would be a lot skinnier than our regular parabola. Okay, so let's get rid of that working. Let's have another go at a third equation. Um, so we use the green marker this time. So we've got question three, just trying to find the equation I decided to use. So we're going to look at y is equal to x squared minus 2. What does that do to our graph? Because every change to our graph does have an effect on what the parabola looks like. So let's set up an x and a y. And we're going to do negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2, just like we did for the other ones. Um, so negative 2 squared, well, that's 4. And then 4 minus 2 is going to be 2. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 0 squared is 0, minus 2 is negative 2. 1 squared is 1, minus 2 is negative 1, and 2 squared is 4, minus 2 gets us to 2. So we've got our new set of coordinates, and we'll plot them on the graph to see what that looks like. So the first one is, at negative 2, we're going to go up to positive 2. At negative 1, we're actually going to go down to negative 1. At 0, we're going to go down to negative 2. At positive 1, we're going to go down to negative 1. And at 2, we're going to go up to 2. So we can see those green dots. They form our new parabola. Um, let's do a, another job of connecting these dots. So my parabola, it's not perfect. And yours don't have to be either in your books, but just good enough to see the shape. There we go. What we can see is that green parabola, it's probably about the same level of width as the blue parabola. But what's happened is it's it's been moved down two, and just want to note that formula had minus two in it, and it's no coincidence that that went down to minus two. So that's interesting. Another feature of a parabola, and the final one I want us to have a look at is let's use the pink marker. So we got four. It's y is equal to x minus three squared. Um, and then let's set up a table, x and y, and let's do our usual negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so some of these numbers may be a bit different for this parabola, so nothing wrong with it. So negative 2, if we put that there, negative 2 minus 3 becomes negative 5. And negative 5 squared is 25. So that's a huge number. That's actually off our graph. So that point's not particularly helpful given the axes that we have. And then let's try again. Negative 1 minus 3. Well, that's negative 4. Negative 4 squared is 16. Again, that's off our graph somewhere, so that's not particularly helpful. 0 minus 3. Well, that's negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So we're still off our graph. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So that, looks, that number looks a bit useful. And then we've got 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to carry on. I'm going to add 3, see what that comes to. 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 squared is 0. And then let's add on 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. And then let's add in 5 as well. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 squared becomes 4. And since we carried on our pattern a bit more than the other tables, we've now got more points on our table. And we're actually going to ignore those first three because they, they don't fit on our graph. So let's have a look. So x1, so that's this point here, we're going to go up to 4. Um, x2, that's going to go up to positive 1. 
three, that's going to stay at zero. Four, that's going to go up to one. And then five, that's going to go all the way up to four. And we can see our shape with our pink dots. And let's move this around. So draw on our parabola, not the world's best parabola again, but that's all right. And we can see what's happened is that shape, that's actually been moved across three. And again, I don't think it's a coincidence that that bracket includes a three. So if we go minus three, that's actually going to move it to positive three. So that's interesting as well. So today's video, what we did is we did focus on drawing, how to draw parabolas and how to plot them on our graph. So at a minimum, hopefully you've learned that. But also along the way, we've chatted about, well, what does differences in our formulas? How do that impact? Well, how do they impact our parabolas? And what we saw, we saw the blue graph, that's our standard x squared parabola. And then we've got one quarter of x squared. Well, that, that parabola is a bit wider. And then we've got x squared minus 2. Well, that moved our parabola down. And we've also got y equals x minus 3 all squared. And that moved it to the right. So tons of different features, making it skinnier or fatter, moving it up or down, moving it left or right. Hopefully you found today's video useful. Now let's get into heaps of questions.